of GSTPM has been recognized by uh, our Honorable Governor of Maharashtra, Sri Bhagat Singh Koshiyari Ji, and he has uh, written a personal letter to our President, and he has also sent along with a trophy. So I would request our President to unveil that trophy along with today's speaker and our past president, C.A. Pranabhai Kapade, along with the all officers. <laughs> I would request our president uh, to address the gathering. So this is this is the uh, recognition letter sent by the honorable governor. Uh, thank you, Aditya. First of all, uh, respected Sri Mitesh Katriya, Press Speaker, my Vice President Sri Kumar uh, Secretary Sri Mahesh Madhukar, President Pravin Singh. 
uh, past president uh, si Pano Kapalya present over there, my committee member Maske and uh, Anvish Bakalaya and all dignitaries who are present here and on the virtual platform. A warm welcome to all of you for the, the first regular, second regular meeting which we are going to have today on the cryptocurrency. Friends, it is a, a always like crypto world is, I think, uh, after this amendment, the cryptocurrency is now the boom and it is a burning issue. And it is to be learned by everybody. And for the and many of the members have suggested to keep the topic on this, uh, keep the top, uh, keep this uh, topic for the betterment of the future of the profession. And that is the reason we have kept this topic. I really thankful to the uh, Mitesh Kapila sir that who has taken the lead and he has accepted the invitation for the crypto world. Uh, friends, before that, uh, it is a really a uh, very fascinating event for all of us. Uh, as you know that. We had a wet emergency seminar, half the seminar we have taken in this uh, We South Auditorium, where first time the Commissioner of the State Tax, P. Rajiv Mittal, has presented, he came and inaugurated the event. I think in a, in a span of this uh, career, he has been the first person in our association that he has came to our association. Uh, so it is a proud moment for GSTPM that the Commissioner himself inaugurated, he has sat for the nearly two and a half hour with the seminar and guided all of us for the scheme. So it's a proud moment for GSTPM members for their uh, for this achievement. Uh, and today, today also the media has recognized this thing. I think the the Jammu Pravasi uh, paper has given the wide coverage for this our seminar. So I thankful to the uh, the media for recognizing our efforts and all. And as usual, as Mr. Aditya uh, told that that Bhagat Singh Oshari has given uh, a personal uh, positive confirmation message to our GSTPM. I think it's the first time in the I, 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 I cannot say the history of GSTPM, but it's the first time that you know a governor of the Maharashtra is recognized the effort of GSTPM. It's a proud moment for all of us that he himself got the letter not addressing me. It's like I'm a president. That is the reason he addressing me. But uh, it's a matter of pride for the all GSTPM members that we got this uh, letter. And I think we are the only association in Maharashtra where governor has given his recognition. So thanks to all of you once again. It's a, it's a, uh, you can say a combined effort of my team. Uh, including all of them, all my managing committee, all my OBs, a GST reviewer by Dhawal Dalati, uh, our associate editor, then uh, Dr. Shashan uh, uh, the editor of the, uh, editor, sorry, editor was uh, Dhawal Dalati, associate editor Shashan Don, and all the, all the members or all the, uh, all the faculty or writers who have compiled, who have given this contribution in the GST review. And that's the achievement that they have, we have made it and all. So I am uh, quite confident that the similar letter we should get from the PM of the India and we are trying for that. Let's hope for the best that even Narendra Modi also your similar letter and all. And uh, uh, thank you, first of all, uh, again, again, I'm thankful to all my convener, Aditya Shima Pradeep, that who has taken the lead and uh, along with the Rahul Thakkar for holding this together meeting. Thank you, Aditya, for the effort. Our LNR committee chairman, Ashit Mehta, also is a backbone. And uh, friends, our LNR uh, representation has been gone every time as per schedule to uh, GST Council, Commissioner of State Tax, and uh, before that also, regarding the profession tax, we know that 31st March, we are the glitches of the website. And as a result of which, I think uh, I was sitting in the commissioner office and I think all the members I requested, they have given a screenshot and immediately the conditions were taken by the commissioner himself. We have got the extension of the PTRC due date by 31st of May. And but it was already decided, uh, government uh, commissioner sir has already uh, taken a decision to extend the date, but they are just waiting for a government approval. That is the reason the, the, due day, the, the announcement was a little bit late. But no the matter, it seems that the representation made by GSTPM, it has been read by each and every corner of the uh, department, guys. And that's the pride moment for GSTPM that we are together uh, achieving the milestone every day by day and all. With this, thank you so much once again. Keep coming, keep being a member of GSTPM. You are getting unique knowledge and all. See the uh, outfit that uh, the department officers are appreciating us. The governor is appreciating us, and this the association is the only association creating the going to create the scheme in the in the India. Thank you so much. Thank you, Jai Maharashtra. Thank you, Jai Maharashtra. Thank you, Jai Maharashtra. Thank you President Sir. Thank you, President Sir. Uh, I would introduce in brief today's uh, speaker, uh, C. A. Mitesh Katira. Uh, he is a chartered accountant and an ISA qualified with specialization in him, business advisory services with more than 40, 15 years of experience. He has been focusing on internal audits, uh, compliance outsourcing, and GST implementation. He has been helping corporate and multinationals on GST impact analysis, implementation, and compliance. Uh, he has been the convener for Information Technology Committee of uh, Chamber of Tax Consultants. Uh, 
Uh, he is also a part of IT committee of WIRC of ICI and a was and was a convener of the Gatkopar CACP uh, study circle. Socially, he is involved in, as a part of regional committee of Sanskrit Bharati, which promotes the Sanskrit language uh, as a key cultural revival of India. With this brief uh, introduction to uh, today's speaker, I would uh, leave the chance to you. Good afternoon, everyone. Uh, and uh, I'm uh, very, very thankful to the committee, the president, Alumbai, and other uh, team members of uh, the GSTPM for giving uh, this opportunity to me uh, to share uh, my ideas on the cryptocurrency, uh, which is a growing, uh, which is a growing uh, area of uh, uh, you know concern and for the government, for the RBI, for various other authorities, uh, including the finance minister. Uh, this has been uh, top of the chat uh, when you look at the budget highlights and other things and you find that everyone is discussing about this. Um, so it is becoming more and more uh, important uh, for the consultants, the investors, the chartered accountants, the tax advisors to understand this concept of what is cryptocurrency and uh, try to uh, you know, gulp the idea as to how uh, the concept has evolved over a period of time and then uh, kind of uh, get into understanding of tax and uh, uh, advisory part of uh, this uh, concept, right? Because it is very important that we first understand the business before we actually uh, try and talk about the tax aspects of the business. So it is like this that uh, nowadays people have started thinking that uh, they need to have industry specialization into media, into consult, into uh, what we call real estate, into various other fields so that they can be better advisors to those industries because they know the ideas or the concept of that industry as to how it operates, what are the nuances of the industry, how uh, tricky it is to deal in this industry, how the transactions happen and then ultimately how the tax will be charged, what rate it will be charged, and how it will be impacted. <coughs> so the, uh, that is why we are also here to actually understand the industry as per se, as to how it is evolved, what are the concepts, and how then we will uh, you know, look at tax and other things. Uh, what we will cover is the concept, uh, the technology that is a blockchain and the other uh, technology aspects of the cryptocurrency. We'll also try to understand the uh, modalities or you can say terminologies which are used commonly in this industry by the investors, by the uh, stakeholders, by the different uh, uh, you know community people uh, 
uh, with regards to cryptocurrency because it should not happen that someone is coming to you and talking about it and you are saying that this is the word that I have heard for the first time. Then it will become very difficult for him to relate with you and talk to you and exchange the ideas. So before doing this presentation to uh, uh, various uh, forums, like this is the fourth or fifth presentation in various forums that I have done from WIRC to uh, CTC to all others, um, the Ahmedabad uh, branch and uh, now here and JB Nagar and so on, multiple places. Uh, this fifth attempt to actually explain the same concept in different, different uh, forums. Uh, before doing all these attempts, the first attempt was with the team members of our own team because we felt that it is uh, need of the hour for them to actually understand this concept and for me to brush it up properly because they will be the first people who will you know argue and debate about the concepts that I am talking about. So that made it more crystal clear and uh, you know structured for me to do the presentation to various forums. And that is how I think that everyone should try and do with their team members because it is important that they also understand the concepts and nuances before actually jumping into the uh, consulting or advisory or tax side of it. What we'll not cover is actually tax as to how the tax man will look at it, what will be the rate, what will be the TDS, what are the uh, regulatory aspects of this, apart from just talking about some summary of how the tax will evolve in this uh, cryptocurrency world, right? Uh, so why I'm telling it as I'm embracing the cryptocurrency world is because this is a completely new world, uh, which we had not, never thought of. We always thought that if we go from India to the US, we will have to buy the US dollar and transact in US dollar in that country. If we go to uh, France, we have to buy a franc and, uh, you know, do the transactions in that country. Or if we go to UAE, we have to buy AED or the Arabian dinar to do the transaction there, right? But we never thought that there will be some currency which is not going to be country specific, which is not going to be uh, region specific, <clears throat> which is going to uh, become the you know noise of the hour without uh, being heard for so many years that it existed. So it is completely a new concept, new uh, world that we are going to embrace, which never existed before, right? Which is completely new, which never was thought of that this is going to happen, that there will be neutral currencies. European Union tried to come out with Euro and said that all the European countries will adopt to a currency called as Euro instead of GBP or Franc or Italian, uh, whatever currencies they were using, right? So, uh, but they failed because they the, the European Union is still adopting to their own currencies and the Fra Euro is still a parallel currency, which didn't become the mainstream currency of uh, all the European nations. So it is very difficult to actually understand this concept because it is a completely new world. It is a world where uh, things look very different and magical in nature as compared to other ones. Right? So that is why the government, RBI, everyone was kind of thinking about this. So let's go into the uh, further slide. This is just a disclaimer. Uh, so many people think when we talk about cryptocurrency, this guy is going to advise on uh, whether you should buy a Bitcoin now or later, or whether you should, uh, you know, buy Ethereum or Bitcoin. So that kind of discussion we are not going to have because this is a forum where we are going to actually understand the concept of the cryptocurrency. So, and uh, even even if I knowingly and knowingly deliberate on that part or make you lure to buy, please don't follow that those words because those are just illicit. And my intention is not to, you know, lure to buy any kind of cryptocurrency or exchange or deal or trade in that. Uh, that is not the purpose of this uh, discussion. But yes, many times um, I would be for or against it. So that doesn't mean that I am telling you to buy or sell it, right? Uh, what is crypto? What is cryptocurrency? Uh, we will quickly understand this by a example that there was a concept of uh, barter then people started using shares or other things in exchange of actual commodities then they started minting coins then they said there will be a gold standard that will be followed so across the board there should be gold backed for the exchange of currency then suddenly there was something called a Bretton Woods system which said that there is no need of gold you can just print currencies on the basis of your whims and fancies or you can say there will be a committee who will sit and discuss and decide whether a country needs to 
you know, print the currency or not, right? Like the US printed the currency and we are seeing that there is huge inflation, things are not available, freight is becoming costly, metals are becoming costly, what happened, right? Because in Corona, people started worrying about day-to-day -day earnings and the countries like the US thought that, can you put money into the pockets of the people? Like Modi ji thought, we'll put money in the pockets of the farmer. So where from the money came, that 60,000 crore, that was pumped into the pockets of the farmer through the direct uh, scheme, right? So people printed money on the Bretton Woods system, which was more like a committee model of printing money. And after, you know, uh, 2009, we saw a new world, which was called as cryptocurrency world. So I would want to ask one quick question to everyone that uh, as a poll, because we are here to you know create a kind of a small discussion, people online can also send their messages on the chat so that we can you know see the uh, responses uh, in the discussion. <clears throat> that if you see, if you open your bank account application on your mobile phone, uh, say at DFC Bank or ICICI, Axis Bank, whatever, and you see that the balance of your account is 200 and 3050 rupees for example right so uh yeah okay slide change in order okay so should i re uh yes select <laughs> Is it? Yes. <clears throat> so the uh, the deliberation is. We'll do it. So the deliberation is um, uh, that if you have balance in your account, say two hundred and uh, one thousand and fifty, right? Uh, <clears throat> is there? Uh, equivalent amount of cash that is printed money kept somewhere in the bank which is back in your 2200 and 1000 rupees or no? How many of you say no and how many of you say yes? If you have say balance of 1000 rupees in your Paytm, Paytm wallet, is it back by physical currency somewhere? How many of you say no? Right. So it is actually back because the point is the governor writes on a note and he first prints and he gives to the bank and banks put it in the reservoir and then transfer it to someone. Right. So it is not possible that the money that is seen in circulation of the system doesn't exist physically. So physical existence of money, which is backing whatever notional money that you hold in your bank account is a reality today. Right. So cryptocurrency is reverse, wherein there is no existence of physical note being printed and given by the RBI governor saying that, you know, I here with um, promise to pay so much value for uh, this note that you carry somewhere, wherever you carry, right? So that uh, existence of that uh, physical note stops being there, right? And still there is currency in his wallet. So what is the risk? Now we all are auditors. Audit. That the banks will start printing currency, no? Why does RBI require to print the currency? Anyone can put 200,000 instead of 300,000 instead of 500,000 in this. It is just a number, right? If number is a number, you can put it in account. What do you want to print the bank? I can print it. मतलब मैं भी एक वॉलेट बनाऊंगा जिसमें लिखूंगा कि ये प्रणव भाई का वॉलेट है और इसके अंदर एक लाख रुपया है प्रणव भाई मांग जाएंगे तो भी देखा जाएगा व्हाट टिल सच टाइम आई कैन ऑलवेज पुट इट इन अ वॉलेट राइट सो दैट इज द रिस्क दैट वी होल्ड व्हेन वी से दैट देयर विल बी नो बैकिंग ऑफ अ फिजिकल नोट राइट फिजिकल नोट गायब हो गया तो उसका बैकिंग क्या रहेगा People online can actually ask questions online also, no problem. So I am just reviewing if people are asking any questions. As of now, no. Anyways, so the point is <coughs> this 
concept of authorization of the money that is not physically existent but existent in a wallet is cryptocurrency crypto means signature of whom can be of rbi governor of can be of multiple people put together right who are approving that this is a genuine balance in your wallet right abhi kon approve kar raha rbi approve kar abhi rbi nahi rahega ya rbi rahega लेकिन वो फिजिकली अप्रूव नहीं करेगा वो डिजिटल सिग्नेचर से अप्रूव करेगा जैसे हम लोग आईटी रिटर्न पहले फिजिकली फाइल करते तो इन 2006 व्हाट हैपेंड द गवर्नमेंट सेड दैट यू नीड टू फाइल द आईटी रिटर्न ऑनलाइन बट यू हैव टू सबमिट द एक्नॉलेजमेंट फिजिकली एंड गेट इट साइंड और स्टैंप्ड बाय द अथॉरिटी व्हाई दिस वाज डन बिकॉज़ दे हैड नो वे टू एक्चुअली गेट कंफर्मेशन फ्रॉम द फाइलिंग पार्टी that he has submitted the details right and correct and in full of his knowledge right wo uske paas koi rasta nahi tha to wo log ne kya kiya bola aap sign karke physically aao udhar jama karo aur wahan se acknowledgement leke wapas aao matlab dono party ko confirmation mil raha tha ki maine ye yahi details file kiya hai aur dusra party bol raha tha tune file kiya hai main acknowledge kar right now what happened with the advent of digital signature is this process went away right so what change is not authorization what change is the way the authorization used to happen right so many people have this confusion that authorization has gone away and that is why the cryptocurrency is fake and the many people don't know that there is authorization but the way in which the authorization has happened has changed right so cryptocurrency is crypto word means authorized crypto word means signature crypto word means encoding like in the note you have a code right and you have gandhi ji photo coming in behind and you have a silver stripe now it is gone but used to be there that there is a silver stripe behind so all those are like uh, 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 what you call um, uh, features of a uh, original note right that this note is original not fake right so these features are embedded into a code that is crypto and currency means currency any any mode of exchange right now what happened is the presentation is quite big and last time what happened is i engaged into lot of discussion then uh, the time was lost so i i want to keep it short but of course we can have exchange of ideas later on so in 1998 someone called as uh, nick sabozo ke uh, came up with an idea that can we replace the physical features of the currency with a code right and there was a guy called as satoshi nakamoto who brought this idea into play he actually started doing this right and he said that one more step ahead he said that if the government is not keen to do this digitally i will independently start doing it right फॉर एग्जाम्पल पहले जमाने में एक हुडी था राइट नरसिंह मेहता ने हुडी के नरसिंह मेहता यूज टू गिव समेचर एंड समूज इन समर स्टेट राइट सो इट इज अ वेरी ओल्ड प्रैक्टिस दैट पीपल यूज टू हैव समथिंग कॉल्ड एज अ चेक विच वॉज साइन बाय सम वन एंड अदर गाय यूज टू से दैट यस इफ दिस गाय इज साइनिंग आई विल गिव सो मैच सो मच मनी टू यू इन एक्सचेंज यू कैन कॉल इट हवाला और वॉट एवर राइट सो दैट यूज टू एक्सिस्ट so this guy said that i will sign a note and give it to him and i will tell him that okay this is my promise that i will pay you so much against the note right and if he is ready to accept what is the problem to the government right so then it started happening between parties to exchange uh, notes notes means cryptocurrency without the approval of the government because government ka kya zarurat hai agar prano bhai mere ko likh ke dete ki alok ke paas ja ये कागज दिखा दस हजार रुपया देगा तो इसमें आलोक और प्रणव भाई पार्टी है और नितेश पार्टी है तीन लोग पार्टी है गवर्नमेंट का क्या काम है हुंडी है ना सी दिस इज टफ टू अंडरस्टैंड बट द कॉन्सेप्ट आर ऑल ओल्ड इट इज ओनली इन द न्यू बॉटल द वाइन इज इन द न्यू बॉटल दैट्स इट द वाइन हैज नॉट चेंज द बॉटल हैज चेंज राइट सो पीपल स्टार्टेड एक्सचेंजिंग इट इन With the help of cryptocurrency instead of a physical currency, when Pranav used to issue a coin to Mitesh, 
and tell him to go to alok and collect the money against the coin and because alok respected pranav by signature he paid so what is the point in having government in between so satoshi nakamoto started doing this actually and this bitcoin started becoming more and more popular so he printed some 50 bitcoins and he printed 10000 coins and then he actually uh, you know first time uh, the uh, the coin crossed 1 dollar was in 2012 somewhere or oh, sorry 2011 and in 2012 it crossed 1000 dollars and today it is something 27 28000 dollars it went up to 69000 dollars came down to 28000 dollars so <clears throat> people started using cryptocurrency hundi with with the authorization of multiple people so what the beauty of cryptocurrency is now the authorization was limited to satoshi nakamoto the answer is no so pranav bhai didn't remain the only authorizing person pranav bhai made a committee and he said that abhi alok ko diya na tune alok dusre ko dega to usko bhi approve karke dena padega but the point is mitesh alok aur pranav bhai tino ka signature usko milna chahiye ये मितेश ने प्रणव ने आलोक को मितेश को दिया मितेश ने आलोक को दिया आलोक ने एक्स वाई जी को राइट सो दिस बिकेम अ प्रोसेस दैट एवरीवन इन द सिस्टम विल अप्रूव और ऑथोराइज द कॉइन बिफोर इट एक्चुअली पासिस फ्रॉम वन पर्सन टू अनदर राइट सो दिस इज कॉल्ड एस डिसेंट्रलाइज फाइनेंस वेर इन द ऑथोरिटी इज नॉट ही हिमसेल्फ द ऑथोरिटी आर मल्टीपल पीपल who have participated in the process and are in democratic in nature independent in nature nothing to do with pranav bhai right so then what happened is whenever there is an exchange like he wants to transfer it to him he has to actually get authorization from all of us wherein there was a concept apne ko pata hai credit card mein hum log jab bhi detail dalte hai to ek character mein galti karte hai to turant aa jata hai this credit card is not valid or wrong right because there is a checksum in the credit card when you put that number the checksum should tally if it is not telling in the visa directory because visa has got a centralized directory visa is issuing millions of credit cards right if there is no confirmation from visa then you can't transfer money from the credit card right and so there are authorities like hdfc bank who is issuing the card and there is something called as visa who is a central central clearing agency now the question is rbi can challenge that why visa should exist when i am the clearing agency but the answer is no there is a global clearing agency who is taking care of all the credit cards issued in the name of visa across the globe and you can use that credit card into uh, usa into uae into any other country how can it happen unless there is a global agency who is clearing the transactions happening in the credit card and seamlessly clearing that is if i go to some other country in the middle east and i use my sbi credit card with a visa signature will it clear or not right so similarly collective clearance became a new model of existence right wherein there was no centralized authority like rbi there was no centralized authority like uh, corporate like visa there was a decentralized team of people who believed in this new democratic existence of currency and they said that may clear kar to tumko kya problem hai like like pranav is issuing a coin to mitesh for getting money from alok there is no need of rbi to get worried about it. right and these people thought one more two more things very interesting right they thought ki democracy mein government jo nirnay leti hai wo politically driven ho sakte hai राइट right? जैसे यूएस गवर्नमेंट को लगा कि मुझे कॉइन प्रिंट करना चाहिए तो ये सब लोगों का परमिशन लेके कर रहे क्या इन अ वे यस इन अ वे नो किसका परमिशन लिया उन लोग ने दो तीन चार जन छह जन आठ जन बैठ के डिसाइड करके करेंसी प्रिंट कर डाल राइट इफ द रशियन रूबल फॉल्स सेवेंटी परसेंट ऑफ इट्स वैल्यू रशिया का अभी वॉर हो गया तो रूबल गिर गया सडनली 30-40 परसेंट नीचे 70 परसेंट पे आ गए सौ रुपए का रूबल 70 रुपए में 60 रुपए में मिलने लगा <coughs> तो हु इज बींग स्टेप गोटेड बिकॉज अ रूबल वैल्यू फेल द पीपल ऑफ रशिया राइट नॉट द गवर्नमेंट सो 
what they said is why should a government decide whether the currency should be valued at x or y or z and how much it is required to be printed that is not a government this is becoming a cult this is becoming a kya bolenge ek logo ka ek sangathan jo bol raha hai ki aise nahi karna chahiye because jo jo government hai wo bhi apne whims and fancies se political will se decision le rahi hai जो सही हो सकता है गलत भी हो सकता है लोगों के फेवर में भी हो सकता है अगेंस्ट में भी हो सकता है और ऐसे वॉर सिचुएशन में 10 बिलियन डॉलर्स यूक्रेन को किसी ने किसी ने मतलब क्रिप्टो करेंसी कम्युनिटी ने डोनेशन के तौर पे दिए जब भी जीपे बंद हो गया था जब भी अपने यूपीआई है वैसा वहां का जो भी सिस्टम था वो बंद हो गया था दैट टाइम पीपल थॉट दैट इट इज वर्थ है again i am not trying to say that this is right or wrong right? i am just trying to say that how it evolved my intention is not to you know lew you again to say that this is better or that is better it is completely your call but i am trying to say that how it evolved abhi wo see speculation har cheez mein hota hai right so you can't say that because speculation is happening this is wrong that can't be a call that one can take right The speculation is happening in INR also. Weapons are being bought by INR also. Ulta, in ke jeb se, mere jeb me Gandhi ji aane ke baad koi bol nahi sakta ki pehle in ke jeb me tha. Lekin cryptocurrency me me bol sakta hu ki in ke jeb se mere jeb me. Right? So the trail, audit trail, hum log bolte hain na auditors. You all think that where is the audit trail of Gandhi ji flowing from one? Pocket to another. There is no audit trail. That is why they said that you should have banking system. But banking system may be who specific not. Here is a move. Okay, I have. 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 एक्टिविटी तो सभी चीजों से हो रही है लेकिन आप ऐसे नहीं बोल सकते कि बिकॉज़ टेररिस्ट एक्टिविटी हो रही है गलत है ठीक है अगेन आई एम नॉट ट्राइंग टू प्रमोट इट इज योर कॉल बट आई एम ट्राइंग टू टेल यू दैट हाउ इट इवॉल्व राइट नाउ लेट्स गो टू लेटेस्ट न्यूज़ Samsung Google ये लोग सब बड़े-बड़े लोग हैं Microsoft uh, Apple ये लोग सब बड़े-बड़े लोग हैं इन लोगों ने सब ने 3 साल पहले बोल रहे थे कि ये सब आयात है सब नहीं करना चाहिए अब ये लोग क्या बोल रहे हैं सैमसंग बोल रहा है हम लोग का जो नया फोन आने वाला है वो हम लोग मेटावर्स में लॉन्च करें आईफोन बोल रहा है कि हम लोग टैप टू पे फैसिलिटी देंगे जिससे आप बिटकॉइन से कोई भी चीज खरीद सकते हैं माइक्रोसॉफ्ट बोल रहा है कि हम लोग एक क्रिप्टो बिजनेस स्ट्रेटेजी के लिए नई टीम बनाएंगे जो लोग इस बिजनेस को समझेंगे और इस बिजनेस में डीप में जाएंगे इंडिया में हम लोग देख रहे हैं कि दस मिलियन से ज्यादा वजीर एक्स के अकाउंट खुल गए और आईपीएल ये सब सारी मैचेस में सबसे ज्यादा पैसा खर्चा करने वाले यही सब एक्सचेंज है राइट रशिया ऑलरेडी बोल रहा है और ऑलरेडी वो लोग ने अपना रेगुलेशन ला दिया है फेब्रुवरी में यूएस uh, अथॉरिटीज ने बहुत सारे फ्रॉड्स में ये देखा कि क्रिप्टो करेंसी के ऑडिट ट्रेल के स्ट्रेंथ के कारण एक लाख बीस हजार बीटीसी मतलब एक बीटीसी इज इक्वल टू टू रेट ट्वेंटी एट डॉलर्स So one lakh twenty thousand dollars could have been recovered. So various these big big guys, the Japanese uh, messaging system, like we use WhatsApp, use करते हैं वैसे वहाँ line है. So line ने कहा कि हम लोग cryptocurrency transfer करने की व्यवस्था करेंगे अपने system में. So इस तरह से बहुत सारे लोगों ने जो लोग पहले सोच रहे थे कि इससे भाग जाना चाहिए, इसको embrace करने के लिए आ गए. Because they all thought that there is really some sense that is coming in. so the point is are we taking it as an opportunity or a threat is a question that we all need to answer so what is fiat money and what is cryptocurrency uh, fiat money means the us dollar or any other japanese yen or so on right so it represented by bills or coins unlimited supply government can produce as needed issued by the government centralized and market and regulation say driven hai cryptocurrency is digital medium represented by one private and one public piece of code a limited currency is ki value kam ya jyada hoti hai right 
सो so, ये आरबीआई ने सर्कुलर दिया था जहां पे आरबीआई ने कहा कि 2018 में कि सभी बैंकों ने जिनको वो गवर्न करते हैं आरबीआई कैन गवर्न ओनली हु आर शेड्यूल्ड जो शेड्यूल्ड है उनको वो गवर्न नहीं करते सबको शेड्यूल होना चाहिए वो अलग स्टोरी है बट द पॉइंट इज किसको गवर्न करती है उन्होंने बैंक्स को कहा कि आप जो है क्रिप्टो करेंसी की डीलिंग है उसको बंद कर दो इसके एक्सचेंजेस को आप अकाउंट खोलने मत दो इसके डीलर्स के साथ आप ट्रांजेक्शन मत करो ये सब बोल सकती है राइट बट इट कांट से एप्रीहेंशन ब्रॉट अ ब्लैंकेट बैन देन देर वॉज अ डिस्कशन ऑन द रेगुलेटरी फ्रेमवर्क and then the government uh, the supreme court said that this can't be done right? you can't stop people from doing what they are doing because it is people's prerogative to decide kya karna hai kya nahi karna bachche bachche ko jab pata hi aache ha i think someone is nada ye lena lena ane baat kar liya kitne pura me pehla aap is pachhi baat kar sakte hain ye talking ha ha definitely so what happened is uh there was a there was a this deliberation and the supreme court came out and said ki aisa nahi karna chahiye aise karna chahiye and then again the circulation started happening right and no one could stop the circulation and then again government came back and said in 21 22 that hum log ek naya regulation leke aayenge jisse in sabhi cheezon ko regulate kare and then in february the finance minister talked about the tax and she said that this is legal not legal is not my job i am just trying to tell you that there will be a tax right when supreme court judgment ke bare mein bhi laya i will circulate the ppt lot of stuff is there so i don't want to get too deep into uh, this discussion uh, but the point is this is very interesting that the supreme court while overturning the rbi order simply stated that there is no legal basis at the moment to impose heavy restrictions on the cryptocurrency the court may not hold this views in the future once a law is passed in the parliament banning the use of cryptocurrency agar parliament ko koi law pass karna hai to kar sakte hai rbi koi law nahi pass kar sakta wo sirf apne scheduled banks ko govern kar sakta hai right so variety kya hai abhi so the point is cryptocurrency is just a currency or what right so there is a very interesting stuff i have a nice slide on that maybe can okay. so what happened uh, is uh, variety of coins started coming so ek tha jaise humne bataya ki medium of exchange right the other is store of wealth and third is store of value one is actual physical wealth like for example gold ke andar actual wealth hai to yadi koi coin issue kar raha hai gold ka 10 gram ka and wo bolta hai iska value sab 56000 rupees hai for example right so no one has a objection everyone says ki it is a store of wealth so there is no problem i am exchanging wealth against wealth it's very easy then transformation happened and people started saying there should not be store of wealth there should be store of value means people started saying that the value is in the signature who is a credible person or a authority or a responsibility to usne kya kiya unhone bola ki rbi ne itna gold rakhna chahiye aur uske against mein notes issue karna chahiye right so then the notes are not store of wealth they are what they are store of value so transform ho gaya from the store of wealth to store of value and then the third model came in where in people said that there should just be medium of exchange why should there be you and the store of value so transformation kept on happening in cryptocurrency also same things happened pehle kya hua there was a stable coin so stable coin is like pegged by the us the us dollar jaise badhta hai kam hota hai aise hi stable coin badhta hai aur kam hota hai then there were tokens which were used for actually gaming for example hum log bachpan mein mario bros karke games khelte the 
मैं छोटा था अभी आपका सबका अलग अलग एज है सो आई डोंट नो बट इन एवरी गेम देर यूज टू बी कॉइन्स दैट वी यूज टू कलेक्ट बाय जम्पिंग राइट एंड इन दैट प्रोसेस वॉट एवर कॉइन्स वी यूज टू कलेक्ट We We used to be able to use it to buy some merchandise. तो हम लोग जाके कुछ खरीद सकते थे तो क्या खरीद सकते थे तो मारियो के लिए शर्ट खरीदते थे उसके लिए गाड़ी खरीदते थे उसके लिए कुछ और सामान खरीदते थे अलग अलग राइट उसको फेस मास्क खरीदते थे उसको टोपी खरीदते थे वगैरह सो वॉट यूज टू हैपन इज इन अवर माइंड देर ऑर परसिव वैल्यू फॉर दो पॉइंट राइट विच यूज टू कलेक्ट एक्चुअली देर इज अ वैल्यू और नॉट आंसर इज नो but virtually there is a value or not yes so they are called as tokens right so in those tokens then what happened mario bros used to create a profile and say ke mitesh ka profile to mitesh kahi bhi duniya mein khelega to utna coin usko milega fir kya ho gaya mitesh ko allow kiya gaya ki mitesh jo hai wo mahesh ko transfer kar sakta hai ye coins to mahesh ne bola ki yaar mitesh ka already itna coin hai mere ko ye topi kharidna hai to ek kaam karna 5000 rupaye le le mere ko coin de तो वैल्यू आ गई कॉइन के अंदर लाइफ आ गई पहले लाइफ नहीं थी फिर लाइफ आ गई कॉइन के अंदर कहां से लाइफ आई बिकॉज समवन अग्री टू पे वैल्यू फॉर इट एंड दैट इज अ कंप्लीटली परस्यूड वैल्यू राइट फॉर एग्जांपल इफ आई एम बाइंग अ बैग यू कैन बाय दिस बैग फॉर 2000 समवन कैन गो एंड बाय इट फॉर 5000 द वन अदर वन कैन से दैट ये तो भाई शाहरुख खान का बैग है इसका 5 लाख रुपए आना चाहिए परस्यूड वैल्यू देयर इज नो लिमिट टू परस्यूड वैल्यू सो कॉइन स्टार्टेड हैविंग क्रिएटिव and the third is the nfts nft bahut discussion mein amitabh bachan ka bahut circulate ho raha hai ye ho raha hai fake news aa raha hai bahut sare cheeze chal rahi so nft has become very popular that is another type of coin nft ke andar kya hai nft ke andar aisa hai ki every coin is unique for example bitcoin is a bitcoin right number of coins can be more but there is no uniqueness in one coin vis a vis the other coin right but nft mein kya ho gaya har ek coin unique ho वेरिन एक कॉइन के ऊपर लेट्स टेक फिजिकल एग्जाम्पल लाइक फॉर एग्जाम्पल समन इज ओनिंग एम एफ हुसैन पेंटिंग राइट नाउ ही कैन कन्वर्ट दिस इन टू एन एफ टी दैट इज ही कैन टोकनाइज दिस पेंटिंग इन टू अ कॉइन बाय पुटिंग इट्स फोटोग्राफ्स डिटेल्स आइडियाज कॉन्सेप्ट हुम फ्रॉम ही परचेज एंड सो ऑन और एक कोड बनाएगा वो कोड जो है वो एन एफ टी के फॉर्म में लेके आए अभी समझो ये आ, आ, किसी ने एक ने दूसरे को बेचने के प्रयत्न किया तो ये क्या कहेगा कि डू यू हैव अ कॉइन विच इज टोकनाइज फॉर दिस पर्टिकुलर पेंटिंग इफ द आंसर इज नो देन यू आर नॉट अ जेन्यून ओन राइट सो सडनली व्हाट हैपन इज पीपल वांटेड टू कन्वर्ट दैट फिजिकल आर्ट सॉन्ग्स म्यूजिक और सेल्फी और एनीथिंग राइट इन टू अ टोकन एंड hold that token as a copyright to be able to restrain anyone other than him to sell original or create a fake am i making sense this is very difficult but very interesting right so someone wants to tokenize his song wo gana ga raha hai abhi problem kya hai copyright act hai sab hai lekin chori to hota hi hai youtube pe yahan pe wahan pe apne ko same gana 10 log gaate hue milte hai एक दिन के अंदर कश्मीर फाइल्स भले कितना ही टाइप चलता हो लेकिन हजारों कॉपीज की घूम रही मार्केट में है ना टॉरेंट जैसे हजारों पोर्टल से जहां पे हम लोग डाउनलोड कर सकते हैं तो वी मे वांट टू नो वेदर वी आर डूइंग दिस जेन्यून और फेक राइट फॉर अस द परस्यूड वैल्यू जस्ट टू लुक एट द मूवी देन देर इज नो प्रॉब्लम आपको सिर्फ पेंटिंग देखना है तो प्रॉब्लम नहीं है लेकिन उसके अंदर का इकोनॉमिक वैल्यू डिराइव करना है तो उसको बेचना है एक्सचेंज करना है भाड़े पे देना है तो आप नहीं दे सकते Otherwise then you are an original owner. तो उन्होंने क्या किया टोकनाइज कर दिया कॉन्सेप्ट कोड को टोकनाइज कर दिया दैट इज फिजिकल थिंग्स ऑल्सो वर्चुअल थिंग्स ऑल्सो स्टार्टेड गेटिंग टोकनाइज बाइंड एन एफ टी फॉर एग्जाम्पल मारियो का जैकेट बिकम अ टोकन नाउ दिस जैकेट इफ इट इज ओन बाय मी इट कैन बी ओन बाई हिम और हिम और हिम दैट इज अक जैकेट दैट आई कैन ओनली ओन सो एवरी यूनिक थिंग कैन बी टोकनाइज that is the concept of nft right and that tokenization of the coin can token coin can be exchanged for value the value depends on the buyer and the seller it doesn't depend on the government authority it is a call of buyer and seller right so multiple tokens started forming 
एंड दे स्टार्टेड एक्सचेंज इन द टोकन फॉर अ वैल्यू ऐसे टोकनाइजेशन हो गया इसमें और एक कॉन्सेप्ट आ गया जहां पे मल्टीपल पॉइंट फॉर वन थिंग फॉर एग्जाम्पल इफ ए पेंटिंग इज फाइव क्रोर रुपीज यू कैंट यू कैंट है But as a GST PM, everyone can own a, uh, say for example, a painting. So how can this happen? So everyone can buy one one coin, and collectively all these coins means a painting. So securitization, बोलते हैं इसको. मतलब जैसे सब प्राइम क्राइसिस हुआ अमेरिका में तो क्या हुआ? तो लोन को पोर्टफोलियो को उठा के सिक्योरिटाइज कर दिया. मतलब कि डेट को इक्विटी में कन्वर्ट कर दिया और लोगों को बेच दिया दस दस रुपए में. तो दस दस रुपए में लेने वाले हजारों लोग मिल गए तो पेंटिंग खरीदने वाला एक आदमी नहीं मिलेगा लेकिन पॉइंट इज़ इफ़ इट इज़ टोकनाइज्ड पीपल कैन बाय द सेम पेंटिंग टुगेदर एंड बिकम को ओनर्स ऑफ द पेंटिंग राइट सो दीज आर सर्टेन कॉन्सेप्ट्स सो दिस क्वार्टर टू थ्री आई विल स्टॉप बाय थ्री ठीक है ना सो कैटेगराइजेशन ऑफ क्रिप्टो करेंसी Uh, is one thing that we discuss, and we discuss about stable coin. Yes, of stable coins. Ke examples hai. Or stable coin kaise kaam karta hai? Tagging kaise hota hai? Uske baare mein kuch idea hai yahan pe hai. Uh, uske alawa uh, NFTs kaise kaam karta hai? Yes, any any comment? So NFT kaise kaam karta hai? So we have come up with a concept that how the NFT gets confirmed from one party to another. and there are lot of there is one uh, website called as open sea kabhi ja ke chance milega to dekho so in open sea you will find this listing of the nft collections of amitabh bachchan or anyone else logon ne ghodo ko nft kar diya logon ne kutto ko kar diya pets ko kar diya because problem hai ki pet ko kaise apan unique har pet unique hai na mera kutta mera kutta hai aapka bhale dono dover mein lekin dono ka alag alag hai jin log pets ko rakhte hain unko pata hai ki unke pets ka kya value so people are worried that like, this is my pet no? now the point is how can you tokenize the pet to logo ne pet ko tokenize kar diya bahut variety of tokens ban gaye iske aur ye isko kehte hain smart contract so ye exchange jo hai between the buyer and seller became a smart contract right smart contract kya hai jahan par jab hi aap paytm mein se paisa a se b ko transfer karte right to ye jo transfer hai ye ek tarah ka contract hai. कैसे कितने लोग हैं इन्वॉल्व इसके अंदर पेटीएम इन्वॉल्व है सेंडर इन्वॉल्व है रिसीवर इन्वॉल्व है ये तीनों लोगों ने कंफर्म नहीं किया तो ट्रांजेक्शन हो सकता है क्या नहीं हो सकता है ना सो मल्टीपल पीपल कंफर्मिंग सिचुएशन इज अ स्मार्ट कॉन्ट्रैक्ट एंड ऑथोराइजिंग एंड सेइंग दैट यस समन इज ट्रांसफरिंग ही सेज दैट आई वॉन्ट टू ट्रांसफर दिस मच The other party says that yes, he has this much. Paytm बोल रहा है कि इसके पास है. नहीं रहेगा तो कैसे transfer करें? Right? So he says yes, this much. And the third party says yes, he has paid me this much. All three are in, in, entering into a smart contract. Right? So similarly, there is something called as sell collectibles. There is something called as buy collectibles. And there is something called as the registry or the party who says that this collectible code is a right code and then there is something called as ownership of the collectible which gets transferred from this party to this party basis this registry so yahan pe seller buyer or registry ye teen logo ke aadhar pe smart contract ho sakta so these are lot of nfts lekin top 10 nft projects ke bare mein baat karenge तो आपके क्लाइंट्स पूछेंगे तो आपको पता होना चाहिए दैट आर गेटिंग प्रिंटेड एंड इन द कॉइन वर्ल्ड मोर देन ट्वेल्व थाउजेंड कॉइन्स ऑलरेडी एग्जिस्ट बारह हजार प्रकार के कॉइन ऑलरेडी एग्जिस्ट राइट जितने देश नहीं है उससे ज्यादा कॉइन्स राइट सो दिस इज बिकमिंग अ बिग बिग स्पेस जैसे पहले के जमाने में आई रिमेम्बर विक्रमादित्य का अपना कॉइन था शिवाजी महाराज का अपना कॉइन था और कोई राजा महाराजा के अपने अपने कॉइन्स थे राइट एवरीवन स्टार्टेड सेइंग दैट देयर शुड बी माय कॉइन मेरा सिक्का चलना चाहिए राइट 
so that is how things started moving so this will again come in play where there will be multiplicity of coins because british came and they said that there should be an indian currency printing act 1938 or whatever right i am not an expert in the law but i they said that all the currency from today will vanish in india and there will be only one currency which will exist फिर भी मेरे दादा जी थे वो उस टाइम में जब बोलते थे कि पांजे कच्छ जो पाचियो इज अवर रियल क्वाइन राइट वी डोंट बिलीव इन ऑल दिस क्वाइंस वी बिलीव इन अवर ओन क्वाइन लाइक दिस पीपल विल स्टार्ट अगेन डिस्कशन देर इज वन मोर कॉन्सेप्ट दैट योर क्लाइंट विल टॉक अबाउट एंड यू शुड नो दैट इज कॉल्ड एज मेटावर्स सो वॉट इज मेटावर्स एनी एनी क्लूज yes very interesting so if you remember uh, pubg pubg right pubg anyone has played pubg kisne khela are bar ke desh mein jaake khelo no 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 the point is the point is um, in pubg people used to get lost matlab pura kho jate the us duniya mein itne kho jate the ki kisi ne upar se jump maar diya usko samajh mein nahi aaya koi train ke aage mar gaya kisi ke sath kuch aur problem ho gaya right because people used to get lost and engage so much in pubg that the country had to say that isko ban kar do isko chalu hi nahi rakh nahi to log pagal ho jayenge so metaverse is like that where you get an avatar for example today's conference is on metaverse so what happens is mitesh physically doesn't come he stays in roa in his farm aram se and some uh, avatar of mitesh actually comes and talks here in the hall now the point is the hall is also not right here it is also in the metaverse and is mahesh is also in the metaverse pranama is also in the metaverse and the alok is also coming in is avatar all these guys are actually occupying the chairs based is their seniority in the council or in the uh, gstpm right and everyone is coming in meta or these guys who are listening online also come on the uh, on the in the hall physically or you can say virtually in the metaverse everyone is actually sitting at their own place and wearing just the vr glasses virtual reality glasses and everyone is feeling that everyone is meeting each other someone is buckling someone's ties i saw outside someone is showing his coat whether it is proper or not right so all this happens in metaverse <laughs> and yeah and that this is this is going to happen so everyone actually comes here and it is like a physical environment right now the point is whether you are inr that is in your physical pocket be useful in the virtual world the answer is no you need a metaverse coin to deal in the metaverse because samsung will have its shop in the metaverse microsoft will have its shop in the metaverse and apmh will have its form in the metaverse doing it returns of the metaverse right so things will transform and everything that is required in the metaverse should be collected like coat penna padega tie penna padega to sab khareedna padega na metaverse mein aapko nanga avatar mile fir aapko jo jo chahiye wo aap khareed ke pehen sakte so that is how it will start happening so this is metaverse this is very interesting look at one website called as decentraland welcome to the world of decentraland dekhna ek baar aap maza aayega you can sign up free it is free just try and people can buy land on the metaverse people can buy offices on the metaverse people can buy shops in the mall in the meta actually it is on sale i am not joking so things will change and when you go to decentralized land i first landed on the decentralized land when i saw that there are 28000 people on the decentralized land who are already there before me right and everyone is talking discussing with each other exchanging cards visiting cards on the metaverse so i said this is a super networking platform where i can be the first one from india to go to the metaverse what is the problem let's try so there are a lot of meta and if you see on your mobile one thing happened which you may have noticed may not have noticed that now your whatsapp is called as meta 
your facebook is called as meta your instagram is called as meta <laughs> and listen to mark zuckerberg about the metaverse uh, video there is a nice video of mark zuckerberg who is a uh, founder of facebook as to why he was uh, uh, you know um, inclined to call facebook as meta because he felt that social media will no more be uploading photos videos it will be physically going there and meeting people and exchanging cards and talking to them in the virtual reality right so this is something very interesting i hope you have come back to the real world <laughs> so <laughs> ecosystem blockchain mining wallets hum log dusri baatein karne wale metaverse se thoda niche aa jaiye apne regular world mein aa jaiye so ye sab ye sab concepts aapko sunne mein hai ye sab terminology तो इसमें से व्हाट इज द इकोसिस्टम ब्लॉकचेन इज अ लेजर इट इज लाइक अ रिकॉर्ड बुक दैट वी ऑल आर मेंटेनिंग बिटवीन ईच अदर इट इज अ कॉमन गूगल शीट ऑन विच वी राइट के इवेंट के अंदर पहले कौन बोलेगा बाद में कौन बोलेगा बाजू में कौन बैठेगा किसका किसका ये बनाना पड़ेगा हमको प्लेकार्ड बनाना पड़ेगा किस तरह से रखेंगे वगैरह वगैरह and it is a google sheet where alok writes and mahesh can see i can see you can see everyone can see what is that that is a ledger on which we are writing the notes now this what it does it allows multiple authenticity to a particular exchange of coin and it retains the data of time stamping of when the coin passed from one person to another at what frequency at what speed for what gas fees everything is retained in this ledger right and then the second is so this is very important part of the um, in the block in the cryptocurrency right if there is no black blockchain there is no cryptocurrency so one of the use cases of uh, bitcoin is the blockchain so ulta kyunki unko bitcoin lana tha without physical authorization lana tha without government intervention lana tha इसलिए उनको ब्लॉकचेन टेक्नोलॉजी इन्वेंट करना पड़ा अब ये ब्लॉकचेन बहुत अलग अलग चीजों में यूज होती है लेकिन पहले कहां से स्टार्ट हुआ पहले ऐसे स्टार्ट हुआ कि मैं कैसे मॉनिटर करूंगा कि इसके वॉलेट में जो पाइन है वो सही है कि गलत रियल है कि गलत सिंपल क्वेश्चन वॉज रिक्वायर्ड टू बी आंसर राइट एंड ब्लॉक चेन इज बेजिकली कंफर्मेट कंफर्मेशन ऑफ मल्टीपल नोड for a particular transaction like i talked about paytm like i talked about sender and receiver all three are part of the blockchain who are confirming a transaction at a particular time stamp and saying that this is a valid coin that it be passed to the other coin so this is something very interesting other is crypto wallet is basically a digital wallet in which the cryptocurrency is stored like a paytm wallet or any other wallet in cryptocurrency there is a wallet called as trust wallet which is very popular then there is something called as binance smart chain which is very popular mai do teen naam bol ke rakhta hu client aayega ha malum hai na aisa to bol sakta to there is something called as binance smart chain then there is something called as metamask very popular uh, wallet so these are two three wallets which can be uh, very popular in the blockchain also there are popular blockchains like binance blockchain is very popular blockchain and then there are other blockchains like uniswap sushi swap and uh, you know cake and so on so there are blockchains which are like networks so agar hum log apne share bazar ke bhasha mein samajhne ka koshish kare to bsc nse naam ka do network hai jis pe transaction ho raha hai right in dono pe share agar apne ko bechna hai to apne ko ek broker lagega jo bsc nse ka card holder hai jiske madhyam se aap transaction ek dmat account lagega jiske andar aap ye sambhal ke rakh sakte अच्छा ये ब्रोकर और डीमेट अकाउंट एक हो सकते हैं क्या आंसर इज यस बट दोनों को अलग अलग एंटिटी बांध के हम चलते हैं यहाँ पे हम कहते हैं कि एच मेरा ब्रोकर है और एच में मेरा डीमेट अकाउंट हो सकता है बट बोथ आर डिफरेंट एंड द थर्ड इज द सेलर एंड द बायर सो सेलर को बायर को कुछ भी बेचना है तो उसको कहाँ बेचना पड़ेगा बी एस सी के प्लेटफॉर्म पे बेचना पड़ेगा लेकिन बेचने के लिए उसको किसको यूज करना पड़ेगा एच को भी यूज करना पड़ेगा और सी डी एस एल एन एस डी एल को भी यूज करना राइट सो वी आर यूजिंग हाउ मेनी अथॉरिटीज वी आर यूजिंग द डीपी द ब्रोकर द स्टॉक एक्सचेंज एंड देन देर आर बायर एंड सेलर हुई द ट्रांजेक्शन 
the authority over the block uh, the dp is cdsl nsdl the authority over the broker is nscbs right so that is how it happened and there is something called a sebi which is sitting on the top of all these guys called a securities and exchange board of india which is working on making sure that the ecosystem remains credible ek ek kaam hai dusra kuch kaam nahi ecosystem remains credible if the ecosystem lose credibility tomorrow no one will want to come and exchange money on sorry shares on uh, security uh, or on bsc or nse or any other stock exchange all right similarly dubai or you can say uae started a authority for setting for cryptocurrency transactions so sebi hai so yahan pe blockchain is like bsc nsc wallet is like uh, your dmat account uh, mining is something like uh, what you call exchange who handles the transactions and uh, you know there is something uh, which is which is like uh, uh, what you call uh, transaction making uh, authority which is like bsc or nsc which is uh, the exchanges so here all these five all these four work together to make transactions happen right miner kya karta hai miner jo hai wo infrastructure provide ye aap mein koi physical infrastructure provide karne wala aadmi hai nahi to bsc nsc do cheez kar raha hai ek cheez kya kar rbi kya kar rbi ke paas hazaron servers ek do nahi kyunki itne sab transactions exchange ho rahe hai inka sara authorization rbi akela dekhta hai to isko itne sab server rakhne padte to yahan pe inko apne exchange isko kuch bhi nahi rakhna क्यों क्योंकि ये जो सर्वर्स है वो इंडिविजुअली होते हैं मतलब अभी प्रणब भाई बैठ इधर वो अपना सेशन में बैठे हुए तो इनका कंप्यूटर खाली है तो यू कैन गिव इट लाइक अ सर्वर टू दिस माइनिंग एक्टिविटी एंड यू कैन अर्न सम बिटकॉइंस व्हाइल ही सिटिंग हियर हाउ बिकॉज दिस गाइस विल यूज दिस सर्वर टू डू द ब्लॉक्स टू क्रिएट द ब्लॉक्स एंड अलाउ द पार्किंग ऑफ द मनी इनटू द वॉलेट्स ये दोनों काम ये माइनर्स कर राइट ये माइनर्स कौन है इंडिविजुअल लोग हैं जिनके पास ज्यादा बैंडविड है या फिर प्रोफेशनल्स है जो लोग माइनिंग बिजनेस में देर इज अ माइनिंग बिजनेस दैट गोज ऑन हु कैन प्रोवाइड इंफ्रास्ट्रक्चर इन एक्सचेंज अन क्रिप्टो करेंसी फॉर प्रोवाइडिंग पावर टू द नेटवर्क नेटवर्क को पावर तो मिलना पड़ेगा कहीं ना कहीं से ये तो सब कॉन्सेप्ट है कॉन्सेप्ट से कुछ नहीं मिल सकता आपको प्रैक्टिकल पावर चाहिए आपको आई फाइव एट जी बी रैम का कंप्यूटर चाहिए वो तो कहा तो होना पड़ेगा उसको तो दैट इज ऑन द माइनर्स विद द माइनर्स तो वेरी वेरी यूनिक राइट एवरीथिंग इज डिसेंट्रलाइज इसी का इस पे कोई ओनरशिप नहीं है वॉट इज ब्लॉक चेन एज वी डिस्कस्ड द न्यू ट्रांजेक्शन इज एंटर द न्यू ट्रांजेक्शन इज देन ट्रांसमिटेड इन टू नेटवर्क पीयर टू पीयर कंप्यूटर स्केटर्ड अक्रॉस द ग्लोब पूरे दुनिया में ये लोग बैठ के इक्वेशन सॉल्व करते हैं और दिस नेटवर्क ऑफ कंप्यूटर्स देन सॉल्व इक्वेशन टू कंफर्म वैलिडिटी ऑफ दिस ट्रांजेक्शन जैसे आप जैसे क्रेडिट कार्ड नंबर डालते हो बोलते हैं गलत है कैसे पता चला बिकॉज इट इज डूइंग अलगोरिज्म एंड कैलकुलेशन कैलकुलेशन ऑफ द वॉट यू कॉल दम तो इट डज अम कैलकुलेशन सिमिलरली दे डू अलकुलेशन पचास लोग कैलकुलेशन करते हैं इसमें से एक का सही निकल जाए प्रोबेबिलिटी है तो जिसका सही निकल जाए वो एक ब्लॉक तैयार करता है उसको इसके अगेंस्ट में पैसा नहीं पैसा मतलब क्रिप्टो करेंसी पैसा नहीं मिलता एंड दीज ब्लॉक्स आर देन चेन टुगेदर इनको सबको साथ में जुड़ा जाए जोड़ा जाए क्योंकि ये सब जो अलग अलग हो जाएंगे तो समझ में नहीं आएगा कहाँ से क्या ट्रांजेक्शन हुआ और सडनली गलत पैसे आने लगेंगे हियर इज वेर द मैक्सिमम पॉन्जी स्कीम्स वर्क where people don't understand this concept and they just believe on a scheme or a person who says tu 1 lakh rupya dal la tere ko kya karne ka hai 1 lakh mein khatam hone wala hai tere kuch 10 10 hazar per month milega to hum log kya karte hai theek hai yaar dal dete hai kya farak padta hai 1 lakh aaj hi ek jan se aaya chal dete hai and then we start crying when things go wrong on the social media and say that this is something that has gone wrong because we don't understand blockchain we don't understand how the wallet works how the coin can be analyzed and found that whether it is a real coin or not people can give you a wallet i can give you a wallet where i can show 1 lakh bitcoins in your wallet you will be happy 
कि मेरा तो इतना वैल्यू है राइट द अदर गाय इज थिंकिंग दैट दिस इज अफ ब्लॉक चेन ट्रांजेक्शन मतलब इट इज नॉट ऑन द ब्लॉक चेन आई हैव जस्ट पुश सम नंबर्स ऑन योर वॉलेट एंड यू आर फीलिंग हैप्पी अबाउट द नंबर्स राइट सो दिस इज समथिंग व्हिच हैपेंस वेरी कॉमनली एंड देन द ट्रांजेक्शन गेट्स कंप्लीटेड सो अंडरस्टैंडिंग दिस कांसेप्ट ऑफ ब्लॉक चेन इज वेरी क्रिटिकल व्हेन यू एक्चुअली वांट टू डील विद इट वन मोर कांसेप्ट दैट आई वांट टू टेल यू अबाउट दैट इज वेरी टर्मिनोलॉजी फंडामेंटल कांसेप्ट ऑफ इट इज ऑलरेडी 3:00 क्लॉक हेलो बाय हाउ मच मोर टाइम आई हैव 7-8 मिनट छे तो सेफी एंड डेफी सेफी सेंट्रलाइज फाइनेंस एंड डेफी इज डिसेंट्रलाइज फाइनेंस कि ये सब नहीं समझ में आया तो टैक्स कैसे करेंगे बिकॉज आपका एन एफ टी का टैक्स अलग तरीके से चलेगा मेरे हिसाब से एन एफ टी इज बैक बायिकल ऐसे राइट जैसे एग्रीमेंट आप जब भी आप घर बेचते हो तो पूरा ना परचेज एग्रीमेंट एक्स से वाई को दे देते हो चेन ऑफ एग्रीमेंट ठीक है तो वैसे करने से कल को वह बोलेगा कि नहीं ये तो डिजिटल एसेट है आपने सी डी दिया तो कैन दैट एपन नो even if you have given a cd what you are giving is a flat not a cd no so what is backed by that cryptocurrency is very important then there are pack coins which are going differently so if us dollar pack coin is there which works exactly equal to us dollar it is like a mortgage hedge coin which doesn't change its value from the us dollar bust usdt ye sab so ye jo exchange ho raha hai ye exchange ke andar mein can you say that it is a gambling right so these questions are required to be asked to the authority so all these different different models are there so can you say that all are digital assets and we charge everything as virtual digital assets vda or whatever right so these terminologies need to understand then you can answer your clients also logically or you can actually understand tax also around this right so decentralized centralized finance care centralized finance is governed by a central authority agency or a corporate जैसे जे जेपी मॉर्गन ने अपना फाइन चालू किया क्यों किया क्योंकि जो स्विफ्ट से ट्रांजेक्शन है नीरव मोदी ट्रांजेक्शन बोलते हैं आजकल स्विफ्ट से होते बिकॉज एवरीवन इज वरी इट इज स्विफ्ट से पैसा आएगा कि खाली नंबर आएगा मेनी पीपल जस्ट वॉट नंबर एंड समन कन्फर्म दैट दिस गाय इज ट्रांसफरिंग फिफ्टीन थाउजेंड डॉलर द अदर बैंक गेव इन द क्रेडिट देन वेन द बैंक डिट द रिकनसिलेशन इट फॉर्म फिफ्टीन थाउजेंड डॉलर मिसिंग एंड इट आज दिस गाय This bank of India, whatever name of the bank, I am not pointing out. कि बॉस मेरा पैसा किधर है? तुमने कंफर्म तो कर दिया। बोला किसने कंफर्म किया? गलती हो गया रे। Sorry. <laughs> This is happened in the Nirav Modi case, right? Practical. What has happened? Someone lost the fifteen thousand crores. And then, then because. देखना पड़ेगा फोन कॉल आ रहा है तो कुछ तो अगस्त में किया था आपने मुझे याद है जून में जून का ना जुलाई क्या हाँ जस्ट पुट एवरी वन ऑन यू सो दिस इज वेरी इंटरेस्टिंग सो सेफी इज वेर द कॉर्पोरेट और द गवर्नमेंट इज इन्वॉल्व एंड डेफी इज वेर पीपल आर इन्वॉल्व as a put together as a committee as a as a democratic model right so defi mein abhi bahut kuch aa gaya khali coin nahi hai defi mein bahut sare use cases aate jaise insurance log dene lag gaye vishwa ke koi company kisi ko insurance issue kar raha hai india mein bola tu mar gaya na itna bitcoin dunga family chalu ho gaya boss because irda se inko koi lena dena hi nahi main bol raha hu na dunga is defi yes really then peer to peer loans is happening in the crypto world already people are sending money from one country to another country for an interest rate which is much higher than any bank can ever think of 26% 30% 35% <laughs> this is happening and there are lenders and uh, you know yeah, books right aapne kaha hai wo dusra portal hai ek ginger domain hai dusra wala usme se uska comparison
the, the that one will be called as defi and this one will be called as second simple प्रोसेस लो क्या है माइनर्स माइनिंग करते अपना कंप्यूटिंग पावर प्रोवाइड करते ब्लॉक्स तैयार करते ब्लॉक से तैयार हुए जो करेंसी है वो लोगों के वॉलेट में चलते और ये वॉलेट को लिक्विडिटी प्रोवाइड करने के लिए ट्रांजेक्शन एलिबिलिटी प्रोवाइड करने के लिए एक्सचेंजेस इतर स्कैन क्या है हम लोग बहुत सारी बातें कर सकते हैं बट वी हैव लिटल टाइम सो वील क्विकली डिस्कस अबाउट स्टेक होल्डर्स तीन स्टेक होल्डर्स की है कॉर्पोरेट्स इन्वेस्टर्स ट्रेडर्स राइट अपने को लोगों के हिसाब से टैक्सेशन देखना पड़ेगा अपने को टाइप ऑफ करेंसी कैटेगरी के हिसाब से टैक्सेशन देखना पड़ेगा तो कॉर्पोरेट्स क्या करते हैं कॉर्पोरेट्स कैन इश्यू आईसीओ कलेक्ट मनी इन क्रिप्टो करेंसी फॉर एग्जाम्पल टूमोरो ऑनवर्ड्स इफ यू हैव ऑफिस इन मेटावर्स वी विल कलेक्ट मनी इन क्रिप्टो करेंसी वी कान कलेक्ट इन इंडियन रुपीज और यूएस डॉलर्स राइट सो ऑटोमेटिकली people start collecting money like tesla said that we can collect gold coins against our tesla car and nowadays top class corporates have already started having their own wallets and reservoirs of cryptocurrency because they are worried ki suddenly us ka war ho gaya aur us dollar gir gaya to kya karenge indian log to indian importers so itne worried hai abhi 77 rupees ho gaya already aapke sab clients phone karke baat karte hue yahi bolte rahenge ki क्या हो रहा है इंडियन रुपी को समझ में नहीं आ रहा है कभी सौ रुपया हो जाएगा पता नहीं चलेगा राइट और उस अदर साइड पेट्रोल बढ़ रहा है डीजल बढ़ रहा है सब कुछ बढ़ रहा है सो कॉर्पोरेट देन इन्वेस्टर्स एंड ट्रेडर्स ऑफकोर्स ट्रेडर्स आर प्रोवाइडिंग लिक्विडिटी एंड इन्वेस्टर्स आर डूइंग बिजनेस नॉट इज नॉट ओनली इंडिविजुअल बट ह्यूज इंस्टीट्यूशनल इन्वेस्टिंग इज हैपनिंग इन दर्ल्ड ऑफ क्रिप्टो करेंसी दे आर कॉल्ड एज वेल्स टैक्सेशन वन वन फाइव बीबीएच इंट्रोड्यूस कर दिया तीस परसेंट टैक्स लेके आए बहुत ही कॉम्प्लिकेटेड सब्जेक्ट है इसमें अपने सीडी सीबीडीटी के चेयरमैन को भी बहुत सारे सवाल पूछे गए यूट्यूब पे आ गया डिस्कशन बहुत सारे एक्सचेंज हो गए बट वी कांट कम टू अ कंक्लूजन बिकॉज दे देम सेल्स आर स्टिल स्ट्रगलिंग विथ लॉट ऑफ कॉन्सेप्ट एंड इट इज गोइंग टू बी अर सेम प्रॉब्लम ऑन बोथ साइड इट इज नॉट ऑन वन साइड दैट द प्रॉब्लम इज देर ओनली कॉस्ट ऑफ एक्विजिशन विल बी डिडक्टेड बाई कैलकुलेटिंग टैक्सेबल इनकम खाली कॉस्ट ऑफ एक्विजिशन अलाउ करेंगे कॉस्ट ऑफ एक्विजिशन में फी आता है कि नहीं आता है बड़ा क्वेश्चन है बिकॉज फीस जो है वो बहुत बड़ा एलिमेंट है क्रिप्टो में आज मैं देख रहा था बिकॉज द बिटकॉइन फेल फ्रॉम थर्टी टू थाउजेंड टू ट्वेंटी एट थाउजेंड टूडे मॉर्निंग फोर थाउजेंड डॉलर सो आई थॉट चलो थोड़ा खरीदेंगे द पॉइंट इज देर इज नो लिक्विडिटी इन द मार्केट एंड फीस आर वन अब द रूफ सो दे आर आस्किंग फॉर ट्वेंटी परसेंट फीस फॉर डूइंग अ ट्रांजेक्शन बिकॉज द लिक्विडिटी इज वेरी लो now if someone says that i am paying 20% fees to buy my coin and you will not give me as deduction right so that is our thing loss can be adjusted only against the crypto gains in the same year this is another debate that is happening loss adjustment milega ki nahi milega i am not a tax expert but i am throwing some ideas as to how we should assess things loss cannot be set off against any other income and or cannot be carried forward this is a big issue right so when you look at any other transactions you can't so the point is after looking at this uh, identifying everything as gamble is very dangerous right? but that is how it is being treated today and 1% tds ye to ye aur bhi khatarnak hai jahan pe 1st july se they are saying that this will this will get introduced for the individual if the transaction above 50000 rupees is a very small transaction so sale wale ko bhi lagega purchase wale ko bhi lagega and in crypto one of the most critical aspect is barter aap abhi samjho 2 kilo gehu ke against 1 kilo chawal de to aap loss kare ke profit kare you be the answer you are neither losing nor gaining right because you feel that 2 kilo ke samne 1 kilo dene mein koi problem nahi value ka difference hai na dono mein right so whether it is a loss or a profit nothing so if you are a good accountant you will tell your client is my kaha profit hai aur kaha loss hai or if you are a bad accountant you will tell that sala iska matlab to 50% profit kiya 1 kilo ke against mein 2 kilo liya correct because you don't know accounting you say that 
of course because barter is so old that we were not taught in 11th standard how to do accounting for barter and when we did one client who has uh, 6 million transactions just recently we were doing a crypto accounting project so we were amazed we we, we ourselves debated like dogs and cats saying that sala tere ko samajh mein nahi aata and the other guy was telling tere ko samajh mein nahi aata you know because we were all and the point is that that client is located in some uh, what you call tax haven he is not not worried about the tax but the point is he was saying that whether i am having right profit or loss i just want to out of curiosity want to know this right so accounting is super interesting i would say not difficult i would say super interesting because we are going back to uh, debits and credits of the day right and we are trying to say that isko profit bolenge ki loss bolenge right amazing can then there is recipient without consideration or consideration less than less than fmb over 50k will be taxed at ifos ye sab jo hai ye kafi bada discussion hai ki isko aap other source mein trick karenge ye karenge wo karenge 56 सेवन आएगा कि नहीं आएगा ट्रिगर होगा कि नहीं होगा बिकॉज रिलेटिव को ट्रांसफर इसमें बहुत कॉमन है कि आप मेटामास से ट्रस्ट वॉलेट में डाल रहे हैं ट्रस्ट वॉलेट से बाइनेंस स्मार्ट चेन में डाल रहे हैं तो कोई आगे बोलेगा कि ये सब तीनों ट्रांजेक्शन पे आपको टैक्स लगेगा तो देन यू विल यू नो हाउ विल यू मेक मनी एंड द पॉइंट इज गैस फीज आर एज आई एस फोर टू फाइव परसेंट वेन यू डू ट्रांजेक्शन ऑन एथीरियम ब्लॉक चेन यू लूज अराउंड फाइव परसेंट इन द प्रोसेस पहले ही पांच परसेंट वो लोग ने ले लिया अब ये लोग तीस परसेंट लेंगे तो क्या हालत होती है so very very uh, difficult i don't know how it will happen and today believe me there is no liquidity in the exchange today when i went to buy bitcoin there was no liquidity in the exchange no one was selling rate is less koi bech raha hai kya because everyone is worried kya hoga tax india mein koi bech hi nahi raha hai pehle aisa tha when i used to go to the p2p portal there used to be thousands of people who are listing their crypto then wanting to sell now there is no one to sell everyone is become accumulator suddenly everyone started thinking long term hum log bhi aise hi karte hain na loss hone lag gaya to baju wala kya hai loss ho raha hai tu reliance liya 100 rupees mein aaj 80 rupees ho gaya hey main to long term ke liye hai <laughs> transfer without consideration between relative shall not be taxable ye sab issues bahut sare hai iske around chal rahe but basically uh, coming up with a new section and trying to create so much of hype around this in my view is too much right and it's going to actually create a lot of fight and in my view it is very interesting for the tax professional other way around so it is a huge opportunity if you look at it kya hone wala hai isme abhi to gst ki hum log baat hi nahi kar rahe aap log sab gst ke experts gst council is already discussing and saying ki hum log 28% lottery ke jaisa le kya hai ye log 30 le rahe to mere ko 28 to lena hi padega right so everyone is in <laughs> everyone is competing to collect maximum tax but i am worried that if you are a right accountant you will not find profit only in the books so risk of crypto error hacking money laundering humne sab discuss kiya speculation attitude hidden cost in transfer under transaction fees and lack of transparency and availability of the data last point is most problematic अवेलेबिलिटी ऑफ डेटा और ट्रांसपेरेंसी क्यों के लिए क्रिप्टो वॉलेट ऐसे मैंने सुना है तीन हजार वॉलेट है बारह हजार कॉइन है अभी तीन हजार वॉलेट में ट्रस्ट वॉलेट कोई केवाईसी नहीं मांगता है राइट तो अगर मेरे को मूड आया कि मैं जा रहा हूं इंडिया छोड़ के तो सब पैसा ट्रस्ट वॉलेट में डाल दूंगा तो नो वन कैन आस्क एनी क्वेश्चन बिकॉज नो वन नो वेर इज माई ट्रस्ट वॉलेट इवन आई इफ आई फरवर्ड द पासवर्ड so you abhi news mein aa raha hai wo uh, kya naam hai uh, the wazir ex ceo i forgot his name he just moved to dubai with his family he said jaane do tumko tax laga raha hai main wahan baith ke karu now there is no one to ask me the question right so people have started doing this and they have started moving because transparency nahi hai there is no transparency as to how you will see all the transactions happening and the biggest challenge i am telling you more than tax is accounting in this because you can't do the accounting unless you unless the client knows what he wants to provide you and unless you know what you want to collect 
right so there will be a huge tussle between accounting issues than a tax issues in my view because people are very very uh, what you call opportunist when i go to binance portal i find 50 options stacking lock stacking ye wo flexible stacking uh, icos going on you invest this much in this and you will get 26% you do binance smart chain you do cake transactions you do uniswap and then you you start metaverse then you start trust wallet and you then you yourself don't know what is happening right so this is very very big issue and that is very interesting and you will find all the clients lost because we are doing at least uh, more than 10 15 clients now into this area and we are seeing that all the clients are lost kya karna hai samajh mein nahi aa raha and their question is tax baad mein dekhenge yaar main profit mein hu ke loss mein hu to bata right so <laughs> amazing time so yeah so this is store of wealth store of value and medium of exchange we already discussed this uh transaction point of view aapke paas char log hai miners aayenge bolenge maine mining kiya iska kya tax hai dusra aayenge ico wale aayenge jo log equity offering ke badle coin offering kar that is a big area right all startups are saying main silicon valley mein jaunga wahan pe coin offering karunga to mere ko kya hoga तो जितना क्वाइन मैंने बेचा उसके ऊपर 30 परसेंट टैक्स लगेगा तो तो इलिसिट हो जाएगा प्रॉब्लम हो जाएगा राइट right? माइनर भी इतना बड़ा खर्चा कर रहा है मिनिमम तीन चार लाख का कंप्यूटर है उसका तभी वो माइनिंग कर सकते नाउ इफ यू विल से कंप्यूटर का मैं आपको कॉस्ट माइनस नहीं करने दूंगा कैसे चले ट्रेडर्स इन्वेस्टर्स थोड़ा ईजी है आर्टिस्ट ये चौथा कैटेगरी है यूट्यूब में हजारों लोग है जिन लोगों को पैसा क्रिप्टो में आ रहा है अभी इन लोगों को आपको टैक्सेशन का एडवाइजरी दे देंगे आप कैसे करोगे YouTube वीडियो बनाने के लिए जो खर्चा किया है उसके अगेंस्ट में उसको आया ना पैसा तो आप बोलोगे YouTube वीडियो में तू जो खर्चा किया उसका मैं माइनस नहीं दूंगा सीबीडीटी चेयरमैन ना बोल तो कैसे डालते आप सिर्फ ट्रेडर के बारे में सोचे चारों कैटेगरी के बारे में सोचोगे तो आपका व्यू थोड़ा और वाइडर हो जाए हाँ बहुत सारे डिबेट्स है मतलब आई डोंट वॉन्ट टू गेट इन टू दैट बट यस यूज so multiple wallets multiple exchanges wallet balance is as on date are not available koi bhi wallet aapko ye nahi bolta hai 31 march 2021 ko sorry 22 ko mere paas raat ko 12 baje kitna crypto acha aapka jo bhi 12 baje hai kabhi trust wallet ka 4 baje hai ab aap kya karoge ye mera 12 baje ki tumhara 12 baje ye kaise decide karenge sabka 12 bajne wala so that is a big issue because first thing that we ask our client opening balance ko de fir mein transaction mein tera profitability nikal sa but the point is ka opening balance hi nahi hai and closing balance bhi nahi hai to bolta hai dono tu calculate kar le main starting se data deta hu <laughs> data about transaction fees charge and gas fees charge this is most complicated because aap transaction kar rahe hai bitcoin buy kar rahe hai lekin gas fee lag raha hai aapko ethereum mein bnb mein तो पूरा ट्रांजेक्शन तीन चार कॉइन में होता है एक कॉइन में होता नहीं वजीर एक्स बोलता है मैं आई एन आर से बिटकॉइन लेने को दे रहा हूँ लेकिन एक्चुअली ऐसा नहीं है वजीर एक्स पहले आई एन आर से डब्ल्यू आर एक्स लेता है मतलब उसका मिडल कॉइन लेता है डब्ल्यू आर एक्स के बाद फिर वो बिटकॉइन लेता है तो आप एक ट्रांजेक्शन जब देख रहे हो तो अभी आई एन आर टू डब्ल्यू आर एक्स टू बिटकॉइन तीन लेवल पे देखना है और तीनों दोनों लेवल पे ट्रांजेक्शन फी चार्ज करना है तो वो तीनों चारों एंगल से आपको वो अकाउंटिंग ट्रांजेक्शन को देखना है तो अकाउंटिंग ट्रांजेक्शन सीरीज ही लेके आना पड़ेगा आपको दिन डिस्कशन करना पड़ेगा कैसे हो देन डेटा अबाउट एक्चुअल करेंसी इन विच द ट्रांजेक्शन इज कैरीड आउट दैट आई सेड अबाउट डब्ल्यू आर एक्स और बी एन बी फॉर दैट मैटर इन डेटा अबाउट कन्वर्जन रेट दिस इज द मोस्ट कॉम्प्लिकेटेड थिंग बिकॉज नो एक्सचेंज गिवज यू लाइक इन अस इन अवर केस वेन वी वॉन्ट टू डू मार्क टू मार्केट इट इज वेरी इजी बिकॉज बी एस सी और एन एस सी गिवज यू डेटा डम ऑफ ऑल द टाइमिंग ऑफ ट्रांजेक्शन एंड रेट्स इन आई एन आर ऑफ अ पर्टिकुलर शेयर now you can say what is mark to market for a particular cut off date you can work out but here there is no repository of data bnb pe rate chal raha hai 30 32000 uh, sorry 32 lakhs something or uh, idhar chal raha hai 31 lakhs aur tisra koi uniswap pe 33 lakhs chal raha hai to aap kisko base pakad ke conversion karoge rate ka is a big question right because you want to ultimately value in inr आपको क्लोजिंग स्टॉक को लगेगा ना ओपनिंग स्टॉक परचेज सेल क्लोजिंग स्टॉक सो क्लोजिंग स्टॉक को आप क्या वैल्यू पे पकड़ोगे उस दिन का कोई आई एन आर वैल्यू अवेलेबल है बारह हजार क्वाइन चल रहा है एक क्वाइन एक जगह लिस्टेड है दूसरा दूसरी जगह लिस्टेड है तीसरा तीसरी जगह लिस्टेड 
ऐसा कोई सेंट्रल रिपोजिटरी नहीं जो आपको आई एन आर कन्वर्टेबल वैल्यू सभी कॉइन्स का एक पॉइंट ऑफ टाइम पे दे सकते राइट आई फॉर एस ने बहुत मेहनत किया इसके ऊपर क्योंकि हम लोग आई फॉर एस पढ़ रहे थे वी टू राइट एन अकाउंटिंग मैन्युअल ऑन अ क्रिप्टो करेंसी क्लाइंट बिकॉज यू आर सो लॉस्ट यू एड अ यूएस एक्सपोजर एंड नॉट ऑफ अदर इश्यू तो इज मेरे को आई फॉर एस में भी करके दे तो देखा तो आई फॉर एस भी पागल हो गया इतना सब रिसर्च पेपर लिखा लेकिन लास्ट में लिखा मुझे कुछ समझ में नहीं आ रहा है आप सोच समझ के करना जो भी करना है ऐसा नथिंग अगेंस्ट एनी एक्सपर्ट बट द पॉइंट इज वी कंसल्टेंट ऑलवेज tell clients what they already know right we don't tell them anything new but the ifrs surprising this is that you rely on ifrs uh, iasa in which circumstantially you choose right ifrs relevant ifrs for a situation in a category of a transaction that you are doing <laughs> okay there is no standard ifrs that is available for doing the uh, accounting of the cryptocurrency So there are lot lot of research papers. You can read few of them. Um, these are some reporting standards that we shortly said. Not of interest as of now. Crypto ex, uh, assets ka kuch bhi question hai apko to please feel free to ask. Uh, I, with this, I would like to conclude the session. Sorry, I am delayed by a few minutes, but it is of wide interest and uh, more than that, it is passion for me that apko samajh mein aana chahiye. Actually, that is my idea. Uh, So with this, I would like to thank everyone, office bearers, past and present presidents, team members, and all others who are listening online to this subject. Uh, here is my email ID, phone number available. Phone mat karna, WhatsApp karna, because I keep on traveling a lot. So yeah, I can definitely come back to you if you have any queries on um, any of these issues. Uh, we can ask any questions. Yeah. Sir, why our FBI is not recognizing cryptocurrency? it is like this that my daughter is been home school she is not going to the school we are teaching it at home because we said that we don't feel that school is relevant and then my my wife was very wise so she said that i will go to few principals of the school and ask them whether you should do home schooling or not so all the four principals said no you can't do it because they will lose relevance right if they agree to the idea मैं प्रिंसिपल हूँ यार मैं कैसे एग्री कर सकता हूँ कि आप होम स्कूलिंग का पूरा जिंदगी पढ़ाने में डाल दिया स्कूल में डाल दिया राइट सिमिलरली इफ एन आरबीआई इज अ गवर्निंग अथॉरिटी हाउ कैन इट से दैट आई एम नॉट रेलिवेंट सो इट इज वेरी डिफिकल्ट फॉर दिस काइंड ऑफ अ सिचुएशन टू टेक अ कॉल और आंसर द क्वेश्चन Correct, correct, correct. So that risk is always there. So I would say that you can't plead ignorance. Even if you carry Gandhi ji or you carry Bitcoin, pleading ignorance is not allowed. Right? Even in the court of law, they said that ignorance is not a excuse. Right? You can't take ignorance as an excuse. So that is why. my my only humble request or suggestion is don't do any decisions on the basis of anyone read yourself study do research and then take a call on whatever you are doing jive concept was the new entrant who is investing in this this that was and that was is passed to the original big side didn't get It's uh, so that I like to do it. I have to pay twenty-eight thousand dollars. It is not any product you need. So, as ready to pay twenty-eight thousand, that is benefit of a person who is earlier on. So he must have invested six, eight thousand, or five thousand, or two thousand. So, what is the link between us? Yes. Product you need from the basis of the loss of giving uh, purchaser. uh no so it is like again uh, it is a pursued value as i discussed someone would have bought it at 69000 and today it is 28000 so it can be loss also it can be profit also it is not necessary that it will always be profit of the earlier user number one number two again uh, again our conception 
or saying that all the other currencies are backed by gold is also wrong right so there is no gold backed currency in our eyes so all the value of the currency is perceived okay rbi governor is saying that i will i promise you the value but when where what did the U, uh, ussr or the russian government do when the ruble fell 30% can't do anything gir gaya to gir gaya is kal to 2 rupaye ka mil raha tha 3 rupaye ka mil to lena hai to lo nahi lena hai to mat lo so value is value is perceived only all the time ha ah, value is market driven every time there is a higher who will speak and i am buying the more value and the seller who will speak and selling at a right value yeah उटिंग so as we discussed this is very interesting concept right how the currency evolved from store of wealth to store of value to medium of exchange abhi jo baj gaya hai sirf medium of exchange abhi iska perceived value hai aap 100 rupya bol rahe ho ye 200 bol rahe hain 300 bol rahe hain sab perceived hai ha like one of my clients she just came to me and she said she's been doing crypto and she's telling me i should make huge profits this year so how do i give you the accounting part of it like Correct, so, correct. so we will have to run a series i want to like how do we take that i will quickly tell you one or two tips right which we have been doing one is uh, if which exchange she is using ask for the she has multiple she is using multiple ah main wahi bol raha tha sabse bada lafda ye hai is pe kya hai multiple wallets and exchange is used for doing transaction multiple because people go crazy when they start doing it they flow from here to there to there and then they ultimately ask you the question profit tax baad mein bharenge ya profit hai ki loss hai wo to batao and, and i will not be surprised if he is she is not doing profit but she feels that she is doing so she that should make huge profit and she want to say advance that in that for do in for next also so how so ye sab exchange ka aapko dump lena padega aur ye sab ko correlate karna padega jaise contra transaction yahan wallet se ek wallet se dusre wallet mein dala Then उसके ऊपर कितना फी लगा सो देर आर थ्री टाइप्स ऑफ ट्रांजेक्शन वेरी 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 क्विक वन इज ट्रेडिंग ट्रांजेक्शन अदर इज ट्रांसफर विच इज वेरी कॉमनली हैपनिंग इन दिप्टो वर्ल्ड एंड द थर्ड टाइप ऑफ ट्रांजेक्शन इज वॉट यू कॉल एज द लोन ट्रांजेक्शन वेर इन यू गिव मनी ऑन लाइक एन एफ डी यू पुट इट इन अ डिपॉजिट एंड यू गेट सम परसेंटेज रिटर्न ऑन इट राइट सो दीज आर थ्री ट्रांजेक्शन and corollary to this there are transactions like we have dividends then is something called as distribution in crypto then there is something called as air drops where in some new currency guys come and they drop currency from the air that is called a air drop something like bonus shares bonus shares similar to bonus shares but jo share aapke paas uska bonus share nahi milega dusre kisi ka milega jaise aapke paas reliance uh, industry the to aapko reliance natural resources mile bonus that is airdrop so these are parallel to holding currency into the wallets and uh, there are fees and there are transaction fees and there are gas fees so debit side pe teen prakar hai credit side pe teen prakar hai distribution uh, bonus and uh, what you call um, sorry airdrop and there is something called as uh, um, uh, what you call uh, इंटरेस्ट इंटरेस्ट के जैसा ही है उसका कुछ अलग नाम है तो तीन तीन टाइप इस तरफ आएंगे और दो टाइप इस तरफ आएंगे और ऊपर आएगा ट्रांसफर ट्रेडिंग एंड स्टैकिंग ट्रांसफर ट्रेडिंग स्टैकिंग ये तीन टाइप आई हैव प्रिपेयर्ड एन अकाउंटिंग मैनुअल एंड वी कैन डिस्कस दिस ऑफलाइन बट द पॉइंट इज इट इज वेरी इंटरेस्टिंग टू एक्चुअली सॉल्व द अकाउंटिंग पजल फर्स्ट अगर आपको ये समझ में नहीं आएगा तो अकाउंटिंग पजल कभी सॉल्व ही नहीं and one thing that i told you wallet balance aapko us tarikh ka us time ka milta hi nahi so aapke liye problem kya as an accountant we do double entry and as an investor or trader there do single entry tere ko kya karne ka us din ka balance ka aisa puchte ho but the point is us din ka balance hi apna base hai na opening or closing ye do hi nahi hai to kaise karenge kya 
Difficult but interesting. Worth learning. Sir, there are many kind of components, there are wallets, there are exchanges, and there are biases. So, is there a mechanism to know what is how much one of the any of the component is traded to? See, there is RBI SEBI who, who overlooks it. Say, Vazirax. So, if someone has to do a trading, is there any formal informal way to say Vazirax is not channel, finance, blockchain is not channel? Yeah. है ना बहुत सारे वेज है एक वेबसाइट है इथर स्कैन ऐसे बाइनान स्कैन करके एक वेबसाइट राइट सो सो टू थिंग्स वन इज देर इज समथिंग कॉल्ड एस कॉइन मार्केट कैप राइट दैट इज वेरी वेरी क्रेडिबल रिपोजिटरी ऑफ डेटा ऑफ ऑल द कॉइन्स इन एन एफ टीज यू कैन गूगल दैट कॉइन मार्केट कैप राइट ऑल दैट यू कैन सी What is the real price across exchanges of a particular coin? Right, Vazirex thoda unis bis pe listing karta hai. Binance thoda unis bis pe karta hai. Kuber coin switch, Kuber and coin DCX, multiple. These are all DeFi again. These are not DeFi. There are DeFi like Uniswap. There is a DeFi like MetaMask. Who do the transactions without your KYC? <clears throat> so, what happens is you should go to coin. Uh, Market cap and check the white paper of the coin, and spend some time on what are the volumes that are being played in that, and what is the market cap that the coin today holds, and what is the liquidity. That is very important criteria because problem is, आप कुछ भी खरीद लेंगे, इन बेचने जाएंगे तो कोई buyer नहीं रहेगा तो क्या करो? Right. So liquidity is the third very important criteria that you should look at. Then, if you want to find out that my wallet has a coin, a lot of people ask me, "Sir, my customer told me one day that he put one lakh dal in it. Where did he go? What happened? He gave me an address. I went there and I saw it. It is there. What will I do with it? So the point is, you have to go to the hash of that particular transaction and put it in Ether Scan. The Ether Scan will tell you that whether you have an original coin or not. उसका एक कोड आता है हैश बोलते हैं जैसे अभी ई इनवाइसिंग में उन लोग ने एआर एंड हैश निकाला ना दैट इज ऑन द कॉन्सेप्ट ऑफ ब्लॉकचेन सो बेसिकली इट इज अ कोड कंबाइनिंग लॉट ऑफ थिंग्स टुगेदर बट इट इज यूनिक अक्रॉस द कंट्री और इनफैक्ट अक्रॉस द ग्लोब राइट सो दैट यूनिकनेस इज द आइडेंटिफायर ऑफ द कॉइन लेकिन आप और मैं आप उन्हें पढ़ नहीं सकते ना सो देन वी हैव टू पुट इट समवेयर एंड फाइंड आउट whether the uniqueness is real or fake so i think with this we will conclude the session thank you everyone uh, there are people online so thank you everyone for giving a patient hearing today's session before going to the uh, formal vote of thanks i would like to announce the uh, webinar that will be uh, held by the website webinar and it committee the topic is enhance your gst consulting with uh, tally prime it will be uh, held on 31st of may 3rd june and 9th june so there would be uh, three sessions and the registration is available on the gstpm's new website that is uh, gstpm.org so uh, with the permission of chair uh, i would request uh, honorary joint secretary sri mahesh matkolkar ji to offer the formal vote thank you sir thank you aditya president alok mehta ji vice president sunil kushla ji Major Pravin Shinde, Past President Ranu Kapadia Ji, my colleague Parth, my two colleagues in managing committee members, and all my members of JCPM. Let me express gratitude towards uh, Patel Ji, the way in which he has uh, taken us to 360 degree dimension. he has in fact taken us to different world 
uh, we all are uh, always thinking of GST uh, at the most income tax and audit to some extent. But the today who we have witnessed the transfer transformation which is going to be there, which is the uh, need of the hour rather. And time will come that uh, many of the practitioners will interact with such a thing that uh, clients will come to you and ask about accounting and their profitability, TDS and all these matters. And if we are blank, then it will be a tough. But I think that today's session, what uh, he has taken us that each and every minute which he has uh, given as a presentation, I feel that it's a treasury for all of us and those who are on the line, they, online they were there. So for them, also, it was a good thing. Unfortunately, many people have missed this. Uh, one of the greatest uh, lectures ever we had listen on this crypto and all these uh, Bitcoin. He has given almost entire uh, thing that if you lose your, for, if you forget the password, then your entire money goes. We are, if you see your passwords, then we are having the forget password and in small things, we are forgetting so many things always, our own passwords. And uh, then it is a really challenge. And it's a uh, good, it's a thing that he has uh, made you aware. And thanks to Lion Representation Committee, especially. Uh, they have chosen this uh, subject uh, and they have worked really hard. Ashit Bhai also is the chairman and his colleague. Really good thing. Thank you. Thank you very much. Please give a big round of applause to you. Thank you, thank you. Let us rise for national anthem. Okay. <laughs>